Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Nana confesses to Sunny and begs for his pardon. Tease for General Hospital Gladys Corbin. Bonnie Burrows is aware that Sasha Gilmore Corbin is in terrible jeopardy. She has developed a scheme behind Sasha's back with Damon Monte, her physician. Together, they'll make sure Sasha never again has ownership of her own riches. Nina Reeves will start to have some concerns about Sasha's mother-in-law as her money accounts are in the greedy hands of Gladys. Why is she so determined to portray Sasha to the judge as a failure? Nina will not like the impression Gladys leaves her with as she skates off with Sasha's debit card as Nina peeks around. But Nina is now dealing with a lot, especially in regards to her relationship with Sunny Corinthos. She worries constantly that Sunny would learn she was the SEC informant that handed Carly Spencer and Drew Kane in. She might receive a much-needed reality check about what matters most in life when she turns to face Sasha to lend the helping hand. Sasha at the hospital is in peril. Sasha will inevitably give in to this scheme. If someone doesn't intervene and save Gladys from them, and herself, soon she might end up with what she and Dr. Montague have concocted. Sure, Gladys appears to be doing that on the surface, but in reality, she is trying to harm Sasha, and Nana seems to be the one who will realize this. Even though she may not be aware of the specifics, she will likely find Gladys' manner to be so offensive that she may ask the judge to appoint her as Sasha's legal guardian instead. The truth behind the GH leak is about to surface. Nina is aware that Ava Jerome, Mora West, has been correct all along and that the truth will eventually surface. Nana should be the one to tell Sunny, not someone else. Additionally, she will only have a chance to save face if she speaks the truth out loud rather than learning it from someone else or hearing it as their account of the events. Nana may decide to cut her losses and ask for forgiveness before it's too late considering that she'll be mired in turmoil with Sasha and trying to piece together what happened to Gladys. Nana admits her sins on General Hospital. Nana might give the Don the truth when the time comes or risk Sunny finding out from someone else. She's going to assume the worst and assume that Sunny will reject her. There won't be a marriage and no happy ending. But what if, in light of all Nina has been doing to support Sasha, whom Sunny also really cares about, he turns a blind eye to Nina's sin? Not the same Sunny that ended up in Nixon Falls, keep in mind. He's a different guy now, and he could be better able to weigh Nana's flaws against her positive traits. Sasha's new guardian is Nana. The staff at General Hospital have discovered Sasha Corbin's Sophia Matson predicament. Just as the young widow's life was starting to turn around, her mother-in-law, Gladys Corbin, is positioning her for a serious fall. Sasha spent some time in disarray. Who was to blame her? Her infant son passed away, her husband was killed, and she had a heroin addiction. No surprise, she broke down. Evil Gladys is attempting to break her once more as she works to reclaim her independence. Sasha's pals need to stand up for her, I hope. General Hospital's apatistical Gladys is attempting to maintain control. Surprisingly, Gladys was there for her daughter-in-law when she needed her. Mom of Brando Corbin wasn't exactly a model mother. But once her son passed away, she agreed to be Sasha's guardian and protected her. Gladys appeared to have turned into one of the good people. That is, until Selena woos, Lydia look, poker game cost her money. Since she didn't have the money to pay the large debt to the mob boss, she took it from Sasha. Gladys' money train might come to an end now that her daughter-in-law is attempting to reclaim her freedom. She doesn't want it to happen, so she decided to drug Sasha in collaboration with a dishonest Dr. Montague. What a wonderful mother-in-law. Friends of Sasha are growing suspicious about General Hospital. Sasha is acting strangely as a result of the prescription the excellent doctor gave her. Her closest friends, Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storms, and Nina Reeves, Cynthia Watros, in particular, are starting to worry. Her actions are strange and not at all like her. 
Gladys is attempting to further the idea that Brando's mother is unstable and unprepared for independence, but her friends don't buy it. Her own lavish expenditures will They'll undoubtedly after raise doing suspicion. some research that the medicines provided by the depraved Dr. Montague are the reason behind her peculiar conduct. Just by connecting the dots, they can determine Gladys' involvement. Maybe in Pentonville, Sasha's mother-in-law and her psychiatrist will start sipping champagne. Nina Reeves intervenes to assist Sasha. Like a daughter, Sasha is adored by both Nina and Sasha. Willow Corintos, her biological daughter, is not as loved by the girl who formerly pretended to be her child as Nina is. In her own mess, Nina is. It won't be long before everyone in Port Charles learns that she was the one who informed the SEC about Drew Kane and Carly Spencer, Laura Wright. Nima is likely to lose Willow's forgiveness and her fiancé Sonny Corinto's once the truth is out. One of the individuals that will always support Nima is Sasha. She'll probably also require a new protector. The ideal candidate to fill in is the editor of The Crimson. Nina and Sasha require one another. They support one another and are understanding of one another's flaws. Between the two of them, there is no condemnation. The mother-daughter bond that they both desire is simple for them to achieve. Alo finally receives assistance in dealing with Mason and Austin's boss after telling Sonny the entire Nicholas story. According to General Hospital, Ava Jerome, Mora West, and the dubious new babysitter Masson Gatlin is sending over will have a stormy meeting. Avery Corintos will undoubtedly become anxious at the thought of a potentially hazardous person being nearby. Sonny Corintos will call Ava out for concealing information from him when he visits Windermere and senses the tense atmosphere. Sonny will make it apparent that he is aware of Ava's predicament. The week of July 24 to 28, according to GA spoilers, Ava will realize she can no longer take it when Sonny forces her to confess in private. Ava will tell Sonny the entire unpleasant story because she is genuinely struggling under the weight of the secrets she is keeping. Naturally, Ava must begin at the beginning, so she will describe how Nicholas Cassidine threatened to separate her from Avery. That resulted in Ava hitting Nicholas in the head and when she hit his body with the aid of Austin Gatlin Holt, he appeared to have no pulse. Mason did, however, eventually become involved before the body vanished. Ava believes Mason is threatening to kill her by using Nicholas' death because she is unaware that he is unconscious at a facility somewhere. Unfortunately, Mason and Austin's enigmatic boss poses a serious threat, and Ava will acknowledge that everything has turned into a terrible crisis. One of the main reasons why Ava would give a complete confession to Sunny is because she doesn't want this turmoil to affect Avery, but it already has. Sunny will absorb the information and make a promise to take care of it once he learns what Ava has been up to. Sunny will let Ava know that he will solve everything, even if he withholds specifics about how he intends to accomplish it. Ava will have to manage the new nanny issue while waiting for Avery's father to put an end to everything until Sonny can work his magic. Ava will, according to General Hospital, act morally by telling Sonny about the situation, but doing so will also increase the stakes and make the mysterious employer a more powerful adversary. For Big Show see kids, Ava and Anna are there. On General Hospital, there is always drama and suspense in the air in Port Charles. In the city, everything is unpredictable. Even the long-gone ones coming back. You might ask why we keep going around this known idea, because both the viewers and the residents of the town are about to receive a double dose of flashbacks. There will be some exciting returns involving Ava Jerome and Anna Devane. Discover who is returning this time by diving right in. Delia, Delia Ryan, Ryan Ava's biological mother, was last seen in 2015, the persona that was first introduced in Ryan's Hope on ABC. But in 2013, Delia moved over to General Hospital, and actress Aline Kristen played the role. In an effort to learn more about whether Ava and Sam were related to each other's families, Sam and Silas traveled to New York. Delia revealed that she was Ava's biological mother there. 
Delia was later summoned by Ava to Port Charles, where she arrived. Although the mother and daughter were not very close, Delia had volunteered to assist Ava because she needed help escaping from Sunny. Consequently, their partnership was propelled to a far better place. Returning to the present, Austin gave Ava a message in the most recent General Hospital episode that was more of a covert threat intended to get Ava to do as he said. Mason wants Ava to be aware of Ryan's bar, Austin informed her. Ava replied that her mother works there in an instant after making the connection. Ava will quickly understand how far into the quicksand she has fallen. She has already expressed concern for the security of her daughter, Avery. The risk is greater than ever now that Delia has entered the picture. However, we are unsure if this danger will actually come to pass on screen or if Delia will make another visit to Port Charles. If so, she might simply wish to remain and assist Ava in finding a way out of her dilemma. Furthermore, we sincerely hope that if she decides to persist, she survives the ordeal and avoids being Mason's victim. Anna experiences a big shock, the General Hospital episode, where Alex resurrects. On General Hospital, Anna has been occupied with the task of identifying the person who planned the Metro Court shootout. We are all aware of how badly Anna needed a diversion in the wake of the WSB tragedy. Anna drowned herself as a result while hunting with Dante. Nevertheless, it's possible that Sonny or possibly Curtis were the shooter's intended victims. However, there is also a chance that Anna was the intended victim. Well, sooner or later, we shall learn the truth. However, as of right present, some proof suggests that the case is connected to the WSB. But who on General Hospital might be after Anna? Additionally, this individual appears to be having fun playing hide-and-seek with Anna. So this is definitely personal. And it is sufficient to sound the bell. What if Alex, Anna's twin, is the perpetrator of the crime? Alex is dead, that much is true. Though is she? Is anyone ever truly gone for good? Alex is just as intelligent as Anna, so she has no trouble pretending to be dead and running away. Moreover, Anna needs a partner to spar with now that Victor is no longer around. Who better than Alex, her adversary? There is just too much unfinished business there. Alex would have thought that now that Valentin was gone, it was the ideal time to get back on Anna. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.